Hi, so I'm Ariana. Um, a lot of workplace dramas are not centered around upper management. How did you guys go about focusing on kind of the highest tier of a business while still making it relatable to the general public? Um, well, that, that was sort of the idea from the inception that usually there's a boss telling you what to do and that, that's uh, part of the sort of the seed for the series. So what happens when the people at the very top who do have to answer to shareholders and boards of directors, but still are the ones making decisions, you know, that's, that is, those are the kinds of workplace stories we can tell that other shows can't. Um, and it's, it's a challenge sometimes because sometimes it's nice to be able to say like, well, we have to do this because our the upper people say we have to do it. Um, but that's also, that's what's exciting about this, the show, find, figuring out like why they decide what they decide and, and how they execute it. Yeah. And I think a lot of it is that tension of like, what's the, what's the, especially in this era that we're in right now, where I feel like we've all kind of aw awakened to the um, evils of, of corporate America, sort of what makes for a moral decision and where do you follow your own ethics and where do you stay responsible to your paycheck? And I think that's what's fun, at least from playing Catherine, the CEO is, you know, she has a heart, but it certainly stops as soon as her paycheck is involved because that's more important. <laughs> For sure. A lot of times with female CEOs and companies and TV shows, they're either um, very cold or very cuddly. How did you go about having the nuances? Actually, that question is for um, Anna. I had another question for you, Justin. My apologies. From cold and cuddly. Where, where do I find the, the beautiful valley in between? Yes. <laughs> question. I mean, yeah, I don't I think Justin and I talked about it a lot, actually, when we first got going. And I think it, it is a really, you, you look, you know, not to be too heady about it, but what is this, like 8% of Fortune 500 leadership is female? I mean, it's a, there's a certain amount of kind of um, expectation and pressure that, that boss ladies have to put upon themselves in terms of um, what they're representing to other women in the workplace. So I think Catherine kind of takes it seriously that she is, uh, setting an example and that she has to be a sort of tough leader. But I do think um, uh, it's this is not a bitchy boss character. I don't think that that was the goal. And it's more about, I think she's she's much more interested in sort of the principles of leadership and listening to her team and team building. A lot of it is just kind of surface though. I think a lot of it has been picked up from a lot of textbooks and things like that. Would you say, Justin? I'll, um, wait, which has been picked up from textbooks? I mean, her kind of operating principles do you know yeah i think look i think she's a she's a competent ceo at being a ceo even right. if she doesn't about the industry and like the genesis of the project i never thought of it as like this is a show about a female ceo you know when yes. i wrote it in 2013 it was a male and it i could have easily changed it there were like three mentions of the fact that she's a woman in, in this version but like that's it, it was just about a ceo and it could have gone either way yeah and justin you've worked on a lot of other workplace comedies which character from your previous shows do you think would have the easiest time at paying auto which character would have the easiest time the uh, easiest in the who would have the hardest <laughs> okay um uh well i mean in in, in superstore i think um uh jonah or amy would both i mean they're grounded intelligent people i think both of them would succeed pretty well you're talking about in pain motors or you mean in the show american auto in pain motor, pain yeah, that's motors. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Characters, okay. yeah. I think they, you know, and then I, I would have to say, uh, well, I mean, Sh Cheyenne from Superstore is a uh, sort of a, a teen. She'd be very, very much out of her element. <laughs> okay, for sure. Thank you.